This is the Dacia Spring, a small car which sprung into our lives from the Geneva Motor Show in the spring of 2024. This car is going to be a huge hit with city dwellers, people who are looking for something small, practical, nimble and efficient to get you around the city. I'm Duncan Vincent. This is the Arnold Clark YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. Let's spring into action. Now I don't get on my knees for anybody, but the little baby EV being so small means I have to come down to its size. We've got daytime running lights here, Y-shaped daytime running lights, but I think they look like a rocket heading in towards the new Dacia logo in the middle of that gloss black grill. Remember, we saw a very similar grill on the Dacia Duster. We did an in-depth review of that. You can check at the top right of the screen. Hit that button. We were down in the borders of Scotland taking that one on tour. Nice front end though, nice new front end as well. Headlights are down here. So they're the running lights, the headlights are actually down here. Just down from that, you've got a couple of parking sensors. And then one of the big talking points is down the bottom. What actually is this? What design do you think that is? It looks a little bit like city maps all put together and folding over one another, but really that's up to you to decide what you think it is. A little bit of information in the spring down there as well, telling you that it's got an electric powertrain. If you look at the side, it's kind of got blocks and lots of angles in it, and you can spy that straight away round about the front end here, the front wing. They've also given it wheel arches, they're trying to flare it a little bit and try and make it a little bit cool. Design elements on the side of the doors here, at first glance, you may think, whoa, that looks like carbon fibre. It's not, but it looks like it. This car's also got the copper brown pack. The wheel trims, because it does have steel wheels, in the middle have a copper element there. There's copper on top of the wing mirror and on the boot, you've got to spy that. And another thing it has got, top of the quarter panel, spring, right through it. The third element in the copper pack, the Dacia name, embossed into this lovely carbon fibre effect on the boot here, and that does look pretty cool, I like that a lot. We've got parking sensors down in the bumper as well, which are housed away nice and easily to keep you safe when you're reversing. And also remember you've got rocket shaped lights or Y shaped lights. I'm starting to like them, there's a bit of a theme there. That's not a parking sensor, even though it looks like one. That is the button to get into the boot. And inside that boot, you have got 304 litres of boot space, quite a lot. And the car also comes with a vehicle to load option. We're gonna pick up on that later on, but this is the tool for that. Nice and easy to operate or some sort of medieval torture device as well. Be careful on that. But the vehicle to load is pretty cool. But it keeps bringing back one question to me. Why is everything in the car so small? And then I look at the roof aerial. It's that big. That could possibly pick up the International Space Station. Ground control to Major Tom. We find ourselves inside the cockpit of the Dacia Spring, and it's quite a nice place to be. For a small car looking in from the outside in, you'd be surprised just how much room you have in the actual driving compartment here. The, the headroom is, is brilliant. Six foot two, give or take a few inches, and that's pretty good for me. Comfortable wheel, comfortable seat, decent for my feet as well. We've got a 10 inch touchscreen panel here, which doesn't have much lag at all. It's really, really fast acting. And there's actual physical buttons for your volume on top of that and down the side of the steering wheel here. Another cool thing about that is they give you Apple CarPlay wirelessly as standard in this model, which is quite something. You've seen us do reviews on other cars, high value cars, which give you Apple CarPlay, but you need to actually plug in to make that work. Well done Dacia for the wireless CarPlay. Comes with the Android Auto as well. You've got two USB-C chargers down there and there's a 12 volt power supply, lots of decent storage, and there's a fancy little gear indicator knob thing down there. What is that? Well, it's your drive mode. It almost looks like it wants to be a gear lever, but that's just your drive mode. House down there, out the way, you're not going to be touching that by accident. And they've also given you an actual handbrake. Very un-EV that, but nice to actually pull a handbrake on inside an EV. Carrying on the copper theme from the outside to the in, your air vents have got copper accents on them on the side and in the middle, and there's also copper stitching inside the seats. You've got a glove tray thing and a glove box there as well. So lots and lots of storage. But for the money you pay for this car, don't expect to have a nice soft to touch dashboard. Don't expect to have lovely velour finishing and everything you'd expect in a high quality car. It's quite minimal in here, but it's fit for purpose, very much so. It's what you'd expect for something nipping about the city. I'm in the back of the car and it's quite comfortable. There's clearly a spring in that seat. 
Um, and it's quite snug, we're going to say that, okay? But what do you expect? It's not for a family of four grown up adults. This is for a young family in my eyes. ISO fixes are there, clip them in, and away you go. Lots of room for the wee kids in the back here. There's no USB C's, there's no armrest. But you know, when the kids are that young, they're probably not going to be needing that. It's money, it's value for money, that's what you're getting. You're getting a little car, a little EV car, which will take you in about the city with great ease, in and out of all those nooks and crannies. Just perfect. It's got electric windows in the back, that's something else it has got. I've got to see the seat, as small as it is. Pretty comfy. And now, we kindly ask you to put your headphones on, turn the volume up a touch, and relax. Well, we hope you enjoyed that little ASMR moment that we brought to you with the Dacia Spring, giving us a nice, fresh, flat white coffee here for us. Let's take a look at some of the key figures, okay? You're getting over 100 miles of range, you've got a 65 horsepower motor in it, and your top speed is around about 78 miles per hour. To charge it at home in a wall box at night, you're looking at four and a half hours as well, so it doesn't need to be on all night. And above all else, it gives you great coffee. And remember, Arnold Clark has over 20,000 new and used cars in their sites across the UK, so there's something for absolutely everybody. We've got the best deal guarantee for you. If you want to go and check out arnoldclark.com, you can also sell your car online. Put in your registration, we'll give you a valuation online for your car. I've been Duncan Vincent, and this has been the Arnold Clark YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss a notification and an upload from us. And until next time, enjoy the coffee.